Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Uh, the question we're asking today is, uh, what is the reason for this connection? Yeah, What is the reason that we had to meet? And this uh, applies a lot in love situations, but it can also apply in a situation where you meet somebody who you don't particularly like or, or you do like a lot, uh, but where you have a sort of some kind of connection and you don't know what it is about them. And uh, so the question we're asking is, why did we have to meet this person and what is it uh, about this connection that we need to know about. And so uh, we're working with tarot decks today and we have five decks. It's deck one, two, three, four, and five. So you can go right ahead and um, choose your deck of cards that you that resonate with you or that you feel drawn to rather and go to the description box below where you'll find the timestamp to your video. Hi, so for those of you who've chosen the first deck here, the question we're asking is, what is the reason for this connection? What is the reason that we had to meet today or whenever we've met? Yeah, what, what is the reason that we've had to meet? Okay, so when I look at these cards, what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing here is that the reason that you needed to meet was because there was something that you needed to adjust in your own life. So this person coming to your life not because you needed to come together or not because if this is a love situation, not because you needed to come together or not because you need to be together in any way, not because you need to work on something together. This person coming to your life largely because you needed to work on something in yourself. Um... And what I'm hearing is that what you needed to work on is being less nostalgic, ne less sentimental. You needed to act, recognize that the, um, the, the way in which you approach life is actually, actually impacting on the, on, the, on the chances that you have, on the opportunities that you have. So it's your, your nostalgia or your sentimentalism or your idea of believing in the, the, the belief in an idea is what is impacting you negatively. And you've actually needed to work on that. And what they're saying is that uh, what I'm hearing here or how I read these cards in this way is that once you've actually acknowledged that the way in which you approach the situation ultimately impacts the situation that you're in, um, you will strip it down to basics and basically be able to uh, strip it down to the raw emotion and work with the raw emotion that's involved here or that um, is part of this and so take away all the nostalgia and the sentimentalism that's here recognize your power within the situation and see how you've been using it um, in a way that is not to your benefit and then in fact strip it down to the bare essentials what are the basic emotions here and react and respond to the situation that you're in with these basic emotions with these pure emotions you know, if this is love that you are, uh, if this is a love connection you're asking about, this is really about acknowledging that love that you have for this person. You know, not not getting caught up in the idea of what you and this person could have, but rather acknowledging that you have the power to influence how things, in how things, um, what the outcome of this is, and actually coming down to that, stripping away the other emotions, stripping away what is not what is not part of this. And um, yeah, bring bringing working towards what is the uh, the the upright position of this card, the meaning of the upright position of this card, because what it shows me when it's in this scenario here is that uh, it's like you've got a tendency um, to be obsessed or to be obsessive about something, and to be quite nostalgic and to be fairly sentimental about things, and this is not actually helping you because what's really going on here is that. Um, it's it's moving away. It's moving you away from from what your your true path should be. It's not really um, it's not really guiding you. It's not really helping you. So you have this these emotions. You have these feelings for the situation. And I'm feeling for me, I'm I'm just getting a love a love connection here. Um, and I'm feeling like you you have this love connection with somebody, uh, but but you've already like moved like twenty steps ahead. You're already thinking about. 
you know, how you're going to be with them and how you're going to marry them and how you're going to have children with them and how and all the good times that you you've had together or all the, you know, the times that they glanced at you in a particular way and you concentrated on that. And uh, you're doing yourself in here, yeah? you're doing your head in here yeah? because you you're imagining all these things about what can be from something that is hasn't even begun. Or, or it hasn't it's just begun in your head the development of the situation has been in your head it hasn't been um really it hasn't really begun yet and what you need to do is is come back down to basics and say okay what is it that you feel about this person and not in an obsessive sense not with any expectations that you have of this person but what is it simply that you uh what is it simply that you actually you know feel for this person and feel that that because that's where the power is yeah, it's in that that emotion, it's in that raw emotion, it's in those feelings. And with that, you'll be able to influence the outcome um, and have a matured outcome here. Yeah. It won't be that you are, you know, because here I see that, like a lot of people who've chosen this deck here are asking about a love situation. And um, I feel that you're just doing yourself in, you know, you're just thinking too much, you're overthinking the situation, you're not feeling as much as you need to feel about the situation. And this emotion is, is not balanced at the moment. And you, you, you actually need really to recognize how you thinking about this person all the time or you wondering about the outcome of the situation is actually impacting the situation itself. You know, don't think that it's not impacting the situation because it is. So I'm going to leave you with that because... Um, yeah, I think I've I've clarified it there. Um, but it, this is, it's very simple. It's just basically saying, well, the reason you need to work, uh, meet this person is because you needed to actually work on that aspect of yourself where you don't become obsessed about a certain situation or you don't become nostalgic. Uh, you leave the sentimentalism behind and you actually just recognize the power that you have to be able to influence the situation and your own intuitive powers. Yeah, This actually brings you in touch with your own intuitive powers. This is actually saying to you that you, in fact, need to recognize your that you are the master here. You are the master of your destiny. You can you are creating this as it stands. You need to recognize your own contribution to how what's actually happened here. You know, if they haven't behaved in a way that you wanted them to behave, well, how have you contributed to that? What is your what are you responsible for in that situation? Um, and the other thing that I'm I'm seeing here is that yeah, you you need to come back down to basics, as I say, and come down to the raw emotion. Get, come back to that. That is what they need to, you need to meet this person for, to cut away this, because this is really uh, not doing you any any good. And you've got to cut away these types of behaviors in which you are um, focused more on, on what the outcome is and rather what the emotion is and come down to the basics and, and you know, just break it down to the, sim the simplest things. You like the person, you enjoy spending time with them or you just like something about them, then focus on that emotion, you know, don't get tangled up in your in your emotions and your expectations here. And and this is what this person's come to teach you, or this is the reason for the connection that you have, okay? So uh, that was uh, your reading for those who've chosen the first deck here. For those of you who've chosen this deck here, the question we're asking today is, what is it? That, what is the reason that you needed to meet this person? What is the reason? What is the reason that you needed to meet this person? What is the reason for this connection? So in this situation here, what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing is that uh, this person, th this person showed an interest in you and this person was actually quite forthright in how they came about, came to you and they made you realize that they were interested in you, okay, if, in the in a love situation. They made you realize, uh, so I'm going to read this as a love situation and, you know, if it, if it is another situation that you that you're asking about then see if you can use this and apply it to that because i'm getting a very um an overriding sense that this is a love situation okay so here i'm um this person showed you an interest and then they backed away okay and in doing so they hurt you and you felt like you failed in the situation 
And as a result, what happened is that you lost a lot. You lost a lot in this process. So I feel like you've lost years or maybe months, you know, like the number four comes to mind here. It's like you, you've lost like four years or four months or four weeks, it could be, or you might even be four days, uh, depending on your situation. Uh, but what, what you need, the reason that you had to meet this person, okay, it is what I'm hearing is a lot of people have thought that, okay, this is my twin flame or this person is actually what I, what I in fact need to be with. This is my soulmate. This is the person I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. And you, you, you actually bought into this idea. And in fact, there was a good potential for you to have spent time with each other. There was a good, there is uh, even now there is a good chance that that could be the case, but it's very unlikely to be so because this person has come into your life um, largely so that you can hold a mirror up to them. And the mirror that you're holding up to them is of themselves and their inability to be able to love, their inability to be able to act on their impulses as they should. They, 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 they become paralyzed with fear when they want to act on their impulses. And they, what they do is they hurt you. They've hurt you. They've hurt other people in that process. And what's happening in your life is is that this person's come there, they've hurt you in this way, they've given you some kind of hope, and then they've hurt you, they've backed away, and you're holding up a mirror to them. And what I'm hearing here is that this person's really struggling at the moment. They're having a hard time because they fail themselves, and they're ashamed. They're not really able to actually move ahead. And so, when, you know, you, you are doing a really important job of holding a mirror up to them so that they can actually feel these emotions so that they will not behave in this way in the future. So they recognize the damage that they've done. So they recognize the harm that they've done. So it's like, in a way, it's like a soul contract in which you've sacrificed yourself here. Um, the other thing is that you weren't expecting to see this, to, to have this experience. You weren't expecting to see this person behave in this way. This took you as a surprise. And I, I'm feeling that what happened here is that um, you've actually... Uh, you, you've actually absorbed some of their, their way of behaving. So when you enter this relationship with them, or when you enter this circumstance with them, you weren't the type of person who was like this. You wouldn't hurt them, okay? But they, and the way they've behaved with you has actually kind of made you a bit like them. And so it's as if you've absorbed some of their negative traits. And this is, you know, in, in terms of as, as far as holding a mirror up to them is concerned, you're doing a great job and this is what you need to be doing there. But you also need to be careful that you don't absorb their traits and you don't become like them. You don't treat them the way they've treated you, okay? Um, the other thing I'm hearing here is that as a result of you having engaged in this affair with them or in this this love affair or this romance or whatever, where they've let you down on multiple occasions, they've given you hope but they've let you down. Um, where they actually have some kind of joy, they can they take some kind of pleasure from from being the one who wins in the situation, and I feel that you don't see it like that because you have some pure emotion for th this person. And um, what I'm hearing here, it's not so much about you experiencing this pure emotion. It's not so much about that. It's not so much about you know that's not the reason you had to meet this person to experience this pure emotion because this pure emotion exists within you. Yeah, you didn't need to meet this person to activate that. This is something that's already existed within you. And in, in some other cases, people meet um, their their twin flame, so to say, or their soulmate or a karmic partner just to be able to have that experience of, of loving again. And you don't have you didn't need that. You already had the love. They swooped into your life and they they came to your life to have that. They came into your life to work on parts of themselves which have been paralyzed by fear in order to be able to let go of that, in order for them to, to love and to experience. and But what's happening in the, in the meantime is that you've lost a lot. Because I feel like at the, the point at which they treated you like this, they've treated you in a way that has been unkind to you um, and has taken you for granted, and you stop believing in yourself and you've stopped actually, um, you've, you've lost, you've stopped uh, seeing the value that you are. In your life and I feel that you know it, your job here the reason that you needed to meet is not just hold a mirror up to him or her in order for them to see how they behave but rather to understand that your worth is not dependent and not linked to that relationship your worth is something that's individual and stands out on its own and in fact you 
you you might have lost money during this time that you've known them, or you might have lost resources, you might have lost a place where you've stayed, or you may have you may have lost something because your focus has been rather on that and that's drained your energy and you haven't really been able to pull yourself out of it. But what I'm here, seeing here, what I'm hearing is that you've actually learned this lesson now and if you haven't, then you're about to, it's kind of going to click into place and you are going to know what the, what the reason is and you are you will need to be able to recognize your own worth and your ability to um, take care of yourself financially, to take care of yourself in terms of your work and your career and just in terms of your domestic environment. And the other thing I'm hearing here is that uh, you, once you've done that, yeah, you, you'll be able to walk away with the riches that you have, which you've created by yourself, single-handedly. And that this year is something that you leave them with. You leave them with this and you need it. Yeah, you leave them with working with this thing here because they're taking a long time to work with this. And um, as far as the connection is concerned, will you be together? I don't see this happening, you know, in the in the foreseeable future. It can be that you'll be together if you're asking about somebody that you're not with at the moment. If you are with this person, they're going to continue hurting you until you recognize that you are, they're going to continue this behavior until you recognize your your worth and your well-being and, and, and the worth of your well-being and what it is that you need to do for yourself and you actually walk away from the situation with uh, or you walk away you don't have to leave them but you can walk away from the, you know this experience that you have with them where they bring you down um, by choosing yourself by focusing on you by allowing yourself to grow by allowing your work to grow and flourish because this person's also a bit jealous um, not outwardly jealous but they, there is a bit of jealousy that they have towards you and your ability to create things, to do things. You have a freedom within yourself, which they don't have. The other thing I'm hearing here is that um, the, the reason that you had to meet was to be able to recognize that there are people like this and there are situations like this. And you need to barricade yourself against that. You need to barricade yourself against people who want to hurt you. You need to have a stronger sense of yourself. And not let that happen, no matter what the connection is, no matter how charming they are at the beginning. Um, you can't let them get to you. And this is a lesson for you in terms of going forward as well. And uh, yes, you know, you have a potential where you can be together here, but it's only going to you're not going to be happy unless they pull up, pull up their socks or they get their their act together here. OK, so um, that is the reason that you needed to meet uh, for those of you who've chosen this deck of cards here. For those of you who've chosen this deck of cards here, what is the reason that you needed to meet? What is the reason for your connection? Right. So with you, um, those of you who have chosen this uh, deck of cards here, yeah, I feel that you may have gone through a depression in your life. You may have gone through a situation in your life where you felt helpless and you, you weren't able to really um, be who you needed to be in your life. And what's actually happened here is that you've met this person at a time where they've needed to help you. Their energy, their being in your life was a healing power for you to be able to come through this and to come through this depression. And I feel that the reason that you needed to meet here was to come together as a love partner or in a partnership or to live together. You were That is the reason that you needed to meet. This is the reason for this connection. You are supposed to be together. You are supposed to work together. You're supposed to build something together. And you, you need to recognize here that it's only when you do things together that you'll be successful um, in, in going forward. And if you actually choose to do something alone while you are in this relationship, if you choose to go on your own path, do something by yourself, um, 
it's actually going to cause a, a rift in your relationship and it's actually going to cause difficulty for you. They've actually come into your life to help you to not feel so helpless and not feel so alone and not be, you know, not like find yourself depressed or helpless or sad. And they are a partner to you and they are your companion in this lifetime. And this is or if this is not a love situation, then they are there. They are your friend. They are somebody who's there to hold your hand or a family member that's there to hold your hand and be with you through this journey. And it's necessary to take them into account when you are moving ahead. It's necessary to ask their opinion, to ensure that they are okay with this as well. Not to get their permission, but to actually see that, that, check that you're on the same page. At the point at which you feel, you may feel in this union or in this situation where you come together that, you know, you can go out on your own and you can do things on your own and you don't need them at times. But actually, you will be doing yourself... Um, some harm if you do that. That's not to say you shouldn't explore your own ambitions, etc. But you should do this with their support. Their support is vital for you in, in going ahead as well. And without their support, you um, you will success will be elusive for you. Okay, so that is the reason that you need to come together here. You needed to come together in this partnership and to be able to understand their significance in your life and their companionship to help you come out of this difficult state that you were before and to move ahead yeah, with them, not alone. And to recognize that moving ahead in isolation would actually be to your detriment. Okay, so that is it for those of you who've chosen this uh, deck here. For those of you who've chosen this deck here, the question we're asking today is, what is the reason that I needed to meet them? What is the reason for the connection? What is the reason that you needed to meet them? And what is the reason for the connection? Okay, so here I'm hearing that the reason that you needed to meet this person is to understand that as much as you want something in life at times, it's important to simply visualize it into being or dream it into being and understand what is important to you. Understand where is it that you need to care for yourself and where is it that your resources and your well-being is um, takes a priority over, what, over demanding what you want in your life. So... They've actually come into your life to teach you, even though they may not be doing this, uh, they may do this literally, but they, they it's not necessary that they'll be doing this in your life. But it's like to teach you Kung Fu or to teach you Taekwondo or something like this, um, or the principles of it. And one particular aspect of the principle of it is to simply not fight, okay? Or simply not not to, not to be... Um, to be able to avoid a situation, to be able to be zen, zen-like in the situation, to be able to step back from this um, feeling here that you need to fight against something, you need to use force and aggression for what you need. Um, yeah, the people I'm talking to here maybe have a very uh, strong Mars. In, in, or you may have your Aries and Mars. I mean, yeah, you may have your Mars and Aries, or um, you may have a lot of uh, your planets in uh, the... Um, in, in Aries, and the um, it, there's a certain fire that breathes through you, but it's also doing it's not it's not doing you very well. It's not helping you. It, you lose a lot of energy with this. And they're asking you here. There's the reason that you need to meet this person is to teach you to simply believe, simply um, have hope, simply have faith and grace. The word grace keeps coming to mind. So when when I was laying the cards. Uh, the message that came through very clearly was stop pushing your way forward, uh, be graceful about what you want, dream about it, and recognize what's important to you. And that was very basically the message that came through at that moment, and I'm just trying to expound upon it here. But the reason that you needed to meet them was so that you, you recognize that it's not, you don't always have to fight something. You can actually just simply um, stand back and let the door open for you, Okay. That is the reason that they need. They, they've come into your life to kind of activate this on some kind of alchemical level, on some kind of level which you don't really understand. Um, they're very 
being in your life is there to teach you to take a step back, um, be more zen-like, avoid confrontation. Yeah, you don't need to walk into confrontation. You don't need to 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 take things head on. You can actually just simply manifest it with your intention, visualize it into being, understand it, go back into your head for a while and um, and think about it or dream about it rather than actually take it head on. And prioritize what is important to you. Recognize what is important to you. See where what it is that you need to have um, and what you have and where it fits and where it doesn't fit and how you can make it fit because this is what's the priority at the moment. Do you have everything that you need? And if you do, how are you saving it? How are you uh, looking after your resources? How are you sharing it? So those are the kind of questions that your meeting with this person has brought you to. It, it's like asking you to take a step back, to dream some more, and to be in some ways more generous with yourself. Allow yourself to, to accumulate the wealth or the, wealth, the resources that you need for yourself. Allow yourself to save uh, those resources, to be um, clever about how you go, go about spending your resources uh, or using your resources. And recognize that that is actually the priority here and dream about the other things that you want visualize it into being because it will come into being um, because you don't just it's not just you know your visualization is not just something that's in your head here you have the d divine support that's activating it into being and stop fighting for it yeah they they there to show, show you that you need to stop fighting for it stop pushing too hard it's not really going to be to your well to your it's not going to be it's going to be to your detriment if you if you do that. All right. Okay. Um, so that is it for those of you who've chosen this deck here. And finally, for those of you who've chosen this last deck here, the question we ask you today is, what is the reason that we need to meet, to meet? What is the reason for the connection that we have? What is the reason for the connection that we have? So with these cards here, what I see is that uh, you've needed to meet this person. Um, th there's two parts of this. There's one of the reasons that you needed to meet this person was to understand that you can actually do things with this person. Or you can actually work in a team. You can actually make it happen. And you can actually uh, work uh, together, be together, make this work, as well as uh, be yourself and be an individual in this. And also to recognize the contribution that you make towards this uh, relationship or towards this union. So um, in this case, I feel that uh, some of you who may be asking about a work scenario or career choice or or uh, something to do with a work uh, person or some kind of authority, um, you're asking, what is this? You know, what? why do we have to have this connection? It's like uh, the kind of thing I'm picking up is that this, this someone here that you actually... Um, have met in an official uh, circumstance and you're wondering what why is it that you've had that that connection and what I'm hearing is that um, it is to understand that they are not opposed to your to you okay so what I'm hearing here is that you've needed to understand that they are not against you then their point of view is not opposed to yours even though it may seem that way um, that you can actually agree on this that you can actually learn to cooperate, that you can actually work together on this and that you can even also be able to push forth your point of view um, and add this individual, uh, your un unique individual um, approach to this thing that you're working on or this thing that you are involved in. If it has to do with somebody um, that you were planning, if it has to do with a love situation here, one, one of the things that are coming up is that um, you need not to be in conflict with each other, 
all the time about little things. You can let the little things go. You can, you know, let go of, of all the small stuff. Um, as they say, you don't have to sweat the, the, the small stuff, you know, and you can just let it go. Uh, it's important for you here to recognize the bigger picture and and what you can do within that. Um, I'm hearing here that this is, applies to those people who have chosen this for love as well as for other scenarios. That it's important for you to look at the bigger picture and where you're headed in all of this. Okay. And when once you can um, get beyond that which is bogging you down, that which is stealing your energy, stealing your time, uh, you you can actually focus on the bigger picture, and then you'll realize uh, the impact that you can make, or the advances, or the progress that you can make within that within that situation. And the other thing I'm uh, hearing here is that um, yeah, the, this person you would not have recognized this, you would not have learned this, you would not have understood this had you not met this person. So this person's coming to your life to say to you, okay, we can actually work together we can actually make this thing happen together we can cooperate you know you can bring your individual unique uh, skills and abilities to the situation and i will bring mine and we can make something good from this um and that let's not squabble let's not uh have this banter which is not productive but rather you know focus on where we had it and how we will uh how we will move ahead and I'm feeling that this is something that you've needed to hear in your life this is something that you've needed to focus on in your life and therefore this person's come there to shine a spotlight on that and to explain to show you that um in some scenarios I see you also if this is a love situation I see you also coming together with this person and working on something building something but it's not certain that the commitment will be a long-term commitment and so that is yeah I'm not saying that you will be to live together happily ever after I'm not saying that you won't live together happily ever after either but it's not clear to me it's not it's not shown here um that that is what will be rather that you will work on something that you will achieve something that you will um bring some kind of clarity to work towards situation which you were in which you were losing time and losing energy to and uh this seems to have been like a habit of yours like you might get bogged down with little things and not really focus on the big um uh, the big picture and uh not just in this area of your life which you're asking about but in other areas as well and this person's come in to show you that you don't really need to do things in this way you can actually look at the bigger picture focus on your goal don't focus on the on the matters that are that are irritating you or the annoyances that are that are there rather just focus on the goal and and be single-minded about your goal because that's what's going to bring you um the 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 success that you're asking for and also you know learn to work with others learn to cooperate um be open to teamwork uh, here is what they they showing but ultimately recognize that even though you work in a team and even though you are part of something with another person or with more than one other person that you can actually go forth and um you know put forth what you believe in and put forth what you truly desire and manifest that and you have the ability to do that the other thing i'm hearing here is this, this person's coming to your life to basically um um uh, unlock a kind of manifestation power that you have so whereas you may have been a previously uh, really engaged in in you know lower energy lower type of energies or you may be in squabbling with people you may be fighting with them and um, sorry about the background sounds of the fireworks by the way it's something that um, I, yeah, I'm doing this uh, close to the um, the new year period and so um, yeah it's it's like you've been you've wasted a lot of energy and time in your life just focusing on things that are not important and things that are not relevant to you and they've come in to, to kind of like a like a soul angel kind of coming in like a soul contract angel coming in to basically unlock this for you and say okay well you don't need to be focused on that anymore um i'm gonna i'm gonna help you unlock your manifestation powers so you can go on and create whatever it is that you or whatever it is that you desire in your life and it won't be so difficult and yes you know you will be um focused with uh, with with um uh, with 
difficulties along the way, but you will have an understanding that is a, a higher point of view or a bird's eye point of view in which you will truly understand uh, that you, you have the power here to change your circumstances. And so, yeah, that is the, the reading for those of you who've chosen this one here. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of one of the other uh, number day, um, one of the other uh, cards, um, yeah, one of the other piles here. And um, it's actually quite, yeah, it's quite interesting. Like a lot of these people who've come into your life have actually come into your life rather to show you some kind of empowerment, to show you some kind of way forward, um, to help you to to develop yourselves and help you to move ahead in your lives. These people are gifts for you. And I think it's important to acknowledge that and to really understand that. And I'd like to say uh, a big thank you for coming by and watching the reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's resonated with you. And a many thanks to you and a shout out to all my subscribers and I'd like to wish all of you a very happy 2019. I'm just shooting this on um, a couple of days uh, before the new year and uh, I'd like to wish you all very well in this time. Okay, uh, by the way, this reading is timeless. So uh, yeah, you could access it in any time uh, for different uh, relationships or for different people and it will apply. So all the best to you and much love. Blessings abound.